Hi, I'm Chris Shattuck with buildamodule.com, and I'm going to talk a little bit about how to theme your module. So a module usually consists of two major parts. One is functionality, and that has to do with uh, what, what, they, what the core of the module actually does. Um, does it add links? Does it process something in a particular way? Uh, and then the other part is how that functionality gets output to the user. So there's, uh, there are two separate things, but oftentimes in, in vanilla PHP, they'll be integrated together, and you'll have a function that has a lot of logic in it, and then it also combines the output, so it add, wraps HTML tags around everything, outputs tables, stuff like that. Um, but in Drupal, you're really encouraged to separate the two, and uh, the, the visual part of it, the output, is called the theming. And uh, so, so I want to just talk a little bit about why you should even bother considering doing this, because you can do it the vanilla PHP way, but there's some good advantages to doing it the other way. First of all, as you, if you can't think of a good reason for it now, then listen to the accumulated wisdom of developers who have been doing this for years and years. And they'll say you just want to do it, and there's so many good reasons for it. Um, and maybe people have a hard time thinking about it off the top of their head, but they're there. Um, one is that there's a clean separation between the code and the output, which means that you can have themers or people who are good at designing working on the code that that uh, wraps wraps the the look and feel around uh, your functionality. So that's one really good reason, but there's lots of other ones too. One other one um, for, that's pretty Drupal specific is that when you uh, are able to separate functionality into um, the theming and the logic, what you're able to do, what other people are able to do is then override those theming functions or files uh, in order to make the output look the way they want it to look. And they can do that without hacking anything in your module. So by giving that ability to folks, um, you prevent them from messing things up and having a hard time upgrading your module later because they've hacked in their own special stuff. So the more you can use the Thank you for watching this preview from buildamodule.com. On our website, we offer a number of free videos as well as several others that are available for a reasonable price. Come check us out.